Hello, here we are at last. The moment nobody's been waiting for. It's my last kit of the season, the last kit of 2022, which I'm building. The last new kit, anyway. Um, yeah, it's the Academy P40B of the Flying Tigers of the Republic of China, pre-Communist China. The uh, World War II squadron which uh, valiantly fought against the Japanese, shooting a lot of Japanese down there by the look of it. It must be a uh, aircraft of one of the aces. The Flying Tigers squadron. Volunteers, some of them, many of them. I don't know if they all were but definitely were famous for being having volunteers among them. Um, this particular aircraft, P8102 think. Anyway, have a look for yourself. There we are. Okay, this is the uh, the build I've been showing you, which had the dodgy fuselage. I don't know if you can see. It's fairly uh, fairly straight. Managed to get it fairly straight there. And it's so far it's stayed in one piece. I've got that part holding these two parts together in, in effect as the same with this part which is holding the back part together because it's glued there as well so that design is good because it helps itself um, I chose to use the good option for the bomb or the um, or the fuel tank I chose the bomb um, the, in, the wheel wells I've got this uh, part here which is just the um, Wing, wing root part corresponds to there. I filled in the gaps with uh, plasticine. They're not ideal, they're not perfectly uh, smooth, so not showing the crack anymore, but it's a quick way of doing it, and I don't have any filler left, which is soft enough to put in. I um, tried to use a bit of a painting technique there to Imagine a hole where the um, the uh, exhaust parts are coming out of, because they were all moulded as one on the fuselage. So that's a bit of optical illusion there to uh, try and give the impression that it's coming out of the engine rather than just stuck on the side. I got a little bit of you won't see it really. But I got a bit of Tamiya tape safety belts in, in, under there. Um, obviously it did a mixture of freehand and taped masking for the frame. If I can have a, there we are, it's nearly focusing. There we are. Got the frame there. I could put a couple of dabs of, of aluminium there to uh, uh, indicate some chipping but I haven't. I've only just finished it this today. Um, what else can I say? A little bit of a disappointment with the, uh, I'll, I'll say that again, I was slurred. I haven't been drinking, it's just me tripping over my words. A little bit of a disappointment uh, that the uh, engine, what do you call them, vents, they weren't moulded very clearly and they, they was not, wasn't an option to have them open but it's an old kit so uh, give that a bit of a bit of a break um, quite happy with how the teeth came out they're uh, joined up nicely on each side the decals are slightly shiny but uh, more professional people than you would use a coat of a satin coat over the top of this which I don't have so I haven't used it. Uh, a little bit of a light weathering with a bit of smoke supposedly coming from the cannons and similarly some from the exhaust area just a bit of pastels weathering pastels and mark it there and then with a finger just rub it you know. um, that's probably it that's the uh, P-51B of the Flying Tigers in the uh, Eastern Asia 
uh, theatre in World War Two, and this was the one I built last year. And the one I built the year before. If you can get them all see there. So I've got three now. <laughs> I wonder which one I'll build next year as my last kit. Right, I think that's pretty much it. So thank you all for watching this year. I'll be doing some more variety of videos in the next in the over the winter. I don't know when or or, or what. But um, there you go. I've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and subscribing. And I'm amazed that I've got 80 subscribers as we speak. And uh, thank you for each one of you for giving me the benefit of the doubt by uh, subscribing. And uh, I look forward to finding something else to make a film of and uh, hopefully entertain you some way. Bye bye for now.